Uh, a lot of stuff tilts me, you know, missed shots, enemy hitting lucky shots, you know, anything can tilt me, teammates, uh, <laughs> the chat, uh, you know, there's so many things that could tilt me. Uh, I became interested in esports uh, when I grew up. I mean, I, I played all kinds of games. I played everything from Halo, Call of Duty, NBA, NHL, Counter-Strike. Um, I played everything. So I got the idea of starting an org after I seen how big everything was getting and how popular esport was getting. My all-time favorite video game is Counter-Strike for sure. Growing up, I watched my dad play, uh, and you know, that's how I found the love of the game. And after that, it was when I was 14, 15, I started looking up to Andre Kirilenko. So I've tried to model my game after him, and I've always, you know, looking videos. And obviously, I played against him too, so I try to pick up as much as I can from him. Uh, I have, I broke my nose this, this season. Uh, I tore my Achilles once. Uh, other than that, I've been very lucky, knock on wood. Currently, I play uh, Counter-Strike, PUBG, Overwatch. Um, that's about it right now, I think. But I'm very good at FIFA, very good at 2K. So if anybody wants to see me, you can, we can play. My first word problem is that it's too far from my gaming room to my kitchen. That's my first word problem. <laughs> if I weren't a pro basketball player, I'd be a professional gamer, obviously, or I would be a teacher. Oh, I'll, I'll record everything with my eyes. I'll probably be better. Uh, during the season, obviously, basketball is my job and I try to concentrate as much as I can. So I'm just trying to put the best people in our organization in good positions, like uh, our COO, uh, Jeff Sajak, who's been doing a great job. So I think one thing that people don't think about is the pressure uh, that, you know, professional players uh, in all kinds of sports have, uh, you know, the pressure of, uh, you know, performing and competing, uh, you know, that's everybody that's a professional is very competitive, so you hate to lose and, and you know, you got to find a balance. I think that's the toughest thing. My spirit animal has to be uh, an eagle. <laughs> just, you know, just chill up there and just look at everybody and just fly around and, and just have a good time up there. Nobody can bother me. It's a tough question because, you know, like I said, it's it's sports and it's competitive and, and you're trying to win. So uh, I don't see big difference more than, you know, if you're talking basketball and esports, you know, you're obviously you're running and, and your physical activity is, is way more. But the competitive edge and, and the will to win and, and all that kind of stuff is, is the same as regular sports. Uh, the pros is a lot, you know, the air is fresher up here, uh, you know, I can reach a lot more stuff than you guys can. I can look down on people, you know, just by walking by. The cons would be uh, hitting your head, obviously, and, and lamps and doorways. Um, what else? You know, picking my daughter up, she's pretty short right now, so that could be a con. <laughs> Uh, dedication. You know, it takes a lot of time. Obviously, these guys, uh, esports player, NBA player, whatever professional you are, uh, you're gonna have to put a lot of time in and work. Can't give up just because you have some uh, adversity. You just gotta keep keep going at it and, and just put in a lot of work. One month in the wilderness? No, I would I would I would not survive. I would be very hungry after a few days. <laughs> How long would you give yourself? Uh, I do watch Naked and Afraid, so I would probably last. Uh, I'd say going on day ten, I would probably, and I would probably get out of there. The last picture I took with my phone was of my daughter. Aww. How tall are you? It's the question that I hear the most, and the one that I hate to answer the most, but uh, I hear it every day. I'd say Overwatch. I'm really bad at, but I think I'm pretty good. Ping pong. I know I'm really good, right, Carla? Yeah. Um, uh, my most memorable NBA moment was uh, getting drafted, obviously, and then uh, making it to the Eastern Conference Finals this year with the Boston Celtics was uh, special.